What is going on guys? Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween and welcome back to Vinyl Week. Today we will be taking a look at The Devil's Rejects. Yesterday we did House of a Thousand Corpses. I have the soundtrack for that. And tomorrow we will be diving into the Three from Hell soundtrack. So definitely stay tuned. I'll be posting a brand new video every week uh, regarding vinyl. And I'm posting a video every day, a horror video in October. So. Get those, hit that sub, and if you could at least like the video, that helps the video get around, I'd appreciate it. So, uh, available for the first time on vinyl there, exclusive essay by Rob Zombie, 2LP, 12 page booklet featuring unreleased behind the scenes photography, art by Robert Simonon, and there's the back artwork. Of course, this is all newly commissioned artwork, um, and it just looks fantastic. Look how amazing that artwork looks. God, that looks good. Doesn't that look good? The artwork is incredible on these waxwork records. So let's uh, let's crack this open. There it is. There of course is the beautiful artwork, the new commissioned artwork. It looks fantastic. Amazing. Just looks incredible. That track listing, if you wanna take a look at the track listing. Go ahead, get her open there. Make sure we can see it. There's the inside. Oh, as they meet their demise. Well, what we thought was their demise, somehow they made it back. I still wish that they would have made the third one. Like the, fir the first one had the weird Texas Chainsaw Massacre, weird Satan vibe. The second one had the gritty kind of road movie vibe. I will, I think. What he should have done with the third one is just went full satanic supernatural. Make these guys come back through the supernatural or something because them just kind of surviving and just like, I, I don't know, that's a con the third movie is a conversation for another day. I could just rant about that. So the last one had a really cool book. How awesome is that? Man, RIP Sid Haig, man. He was awesome, wasn't he? Man, this is an awesome. I actually didn't know it came I forget her name. She's in a bunch of Roger Corman stuff. I always remember her from Rock and Roll High School forever. She was, uh, I forget her name, Dr. Claw or whatever it was with the arm. And PJ Souls, totally. Rob Zombie and of course, Rob Zombie's Muse. These are cool pictures. That's a cool candid shot. Tootie fucking fruity. She looks pretty hot in these movies, I gotta admit. There you go, if you wanna pause on that and read that blur, maybe I can get it close enough for you guys to read that if you want. I don't wanna go up too far. It's pretty cool. Actually, some great photos. It's a nice high quality print. I like these large photos, this looks so cool. Awesome. Good old Bill Mosley. And here's this right here with the uh, track listing. Go ahead and take the records out. These are splatter colored vinyl. The last one was clear and blood splatter. This one is gold or orange or yellowish blood splatter. Looks gorgeous. Let you guys get a close look at that. Waxwork puts out some just amazing records. And hell, even if you don't have a record player, you know, you can get these things just as an extension of your physical media collection. You know, if you collect Blu-rays and stuff like that. Um, I highly recommend checking out Terry Reed's album, Seed of Memory. All the tracks that he plays um, from Terry Reed on this album uh, were on an album called uh, Seed of Memory. It's just there. It's an incredible '70s acoustic folk album. It's just amazing. 
There's Bill Mosley. I'm here to do the devil's work. Looks great. There's the other side. Gorgeous record. That's it, guys. That is our vinyl record for today, and I'll be back again tomorrow to do three from hell. So, uh, and I'll be also be back every single day this month. I got some fun stuff planned for the rest of the month too. So definitely subscribe. And if you could just like this video, that would be amazing. That would really help me out. So thank you so much, guys. Stay weird. And until next time, bye. I love movies. Gosh, I love movies. I love watching them and I love making them. Nah, I can't do it.